All right, traders, hopefully everybody could see everything, hear everything okay. Want to do a quick audio check just one more time. Everyone uh, just want to do a quick, uh, just we'll see if everybody can hear it loud and clear. All right, James, good to see you. Thank you very much. It looks like everyone's okay. All right, so let's get started. So welcome everybody. My name is Fausto and hopefully everyone is excited as much as I am because it's been a really fun market. A lot of things have been moving on in the market. We're going to talk about one of the biggest things that control the market. It's about following the money and knowing these entries and exits. So this is one of them, our most popular topics that we're talking about and we're gonna, and we have a brand we have a brand new PowerPoint uh, and new demonstrations and new examples we want to go out there and share with you. Now today's um, presentations give you a little heads up. this is going to be it's strictly you know educational only and um, I'm not making any guarantees or promises. You know, it varies student to student, but I do recommend that if you are going to trade today's markets, please be very smart and wise before you make your first trade. Now, regarding about um, about Cyber Trade University and just a little bit about myself and about the company and everything else before we start getting into the education part of it, um, I've been doing this for over almost thirty wonderful years. I love what I do. Uh, I've been doing. I'm actually a market maker. I was a market maker. And I started one of the first schools in today's industry. I traveled around the world. I competed against some of the biggest traders in the industry. I beat them all. Because the big thing you have to understand is a lot of the people out there are not traders. Okay, They were not market makers. They didn't live here in New York, where I was trained by best, best traders in the industry. I got some of the most biggest traders that live in my own town in the world. Um, you're not going to beat them. But don't worry. That's not a bad thing. What you can do is you could learn from them. You could actually follow them. Things that are called high frequency trades, algorithms, dark pools. These are the things that we're going to cover in today's event. But to do that, you have to come to a reality about yourself. Now, I'm going to be asking a lot of questions like the one I want to ask right now. And my question is, how long has everyone here been trading for? Has it been a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years? How long have all of you guys been trading? I mean, I've been doing it for over 30 years. I do it literally almost every day other than the days on my birthday, it was this week, or you know, on vacation when the markets closes. A few years, seven years, James, Tim, years. Okay, good, good. Well, listen, um, just started. Okay, well, let me explain something to you. Um, the big thing you have to look at is great traders never stop learning, okay? And regarding about... A lot of you, like Steve, you saved dude 35 years. David, you've been doing it for 13 years. Is that, you know, very active or just like obviously just, you know, here and there, dibbles and dabs? Because I don't count that. I count that that there's a lot of you here that are maybe starting to retire, maybe are trying to find a new career. Um, I, I hopefully you're not getting a lot of video game players in here, which is nothing wrong with that because my kids are. But if you're more of an engineer and, and you know, uh, first responders, grandmas and grandpas. I mean, you're actually really in the right place because you want to make supplemental income. And that's why we're here. Now, um, my next question to all of you is this. I'm going to do a quick poll because polls, I'm always a fan of these polls. These polls are awesome. Um, now, my poll question is this. Uh, where are my, where is that? Okay. Um, where is the one I'm looking for? All right. So what kind of trader are all of you? OK. Regarding about we're going to talk about who trained you. Um, have you been trained by a professional? But uh, just a quick poll out there. Just let me know. Are you stock trader, options, futures, Forex? Just want to know. Should be seeing that poll on the right hand side. No one actually trained some futures, some stocks. OK. Uh, the poll actually won't show up because I'm not the host, but that's okay. Just put it in the chat room. We'll scout some futures, some cryptocurrencies. Okay, David doing some options. All right, so let me kind of explain something really quick before we move forward. Okay, I am an actual day trader, stock trader. Uh, I do some options. I do swing trading, do all that. Uh, now, regarding about what kind of trader you are, let me just kind of just put the facts on the table. If you've been doing something for more than, I don't know, maybe three months, six months, and if you're not making consistent money, you got two problems. Number one, you probably have a 
have not had a good mentor that taught you how to trade it properly or number two it's just not your style so every market trades exactly the same a lot of psychology discipline charts brokerage firms we're only about maybe 30 percent different so you might like the market in general but if you're not really making money in options you're not really making money in futures even though you've been doing it long enough it's okay it's time for a change so my goal is to teach you what the change is and how things work now before we move forward, I'm just going to give you put it put it right out there so everybody knows. At the end of today's presentation, okay, I am going to invite every single one of you to come into my professional trading room, all of you, for one whole week. I'm not going to charge you anything more, anything less. The nine dollars just tells me if you're a real person or not. So I'm just going to put it out there so you know what to expect. Now, what I'm going to do in the next forty minutes is I'm going to prove to all of you that a lot of you have been trading blind. OK, and for me to practice what I preach, I'm going to invite you all to the trading room and you're going to come in there for a week. Now, I'm not like I said, I'm not looking for free people. I'm not looking for people that are, you know, that want to kind of like watch a bunch of YouTube videos, because I could tell you this trading is an 80, maybe even a 90 percent failure rate. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you that you're going to waste your money and your time. You know, and I'm talking about paying for training. I'm talking about losing money in the market. It's the greatest job in the world. You are your own boss, but you got to know how to play the game. And what you're about to see right now is going to be extremely disturbing because you're going to see that a lot of you have been trading blind um, pretty much <laughs> since you just started because everyone's so focused about the past. We're going to focus about the future. Let's talk about a stock called AVGR. Now, did anyone see this stock AVGR this week? Did anybody trade it? Did you see? Just give me a yes or no in the trading room. Quick yes or no. Frank, you didn't see it. Okay. Conrad, what about you? Dan? Dan, no. David, you haven't seen it. Peter, you haven't seen it. Anyone else? No one, nobody saw this stock. Okay. Well, Steve, you saw it in this trading room, obviously. Okay. Let, let me tell you what's going on with this stock. Okay. Now, let's think about this for a second. Why are you here? You're here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to make money. Okay. You know what the second reason to why you're here? is to stop losing it, okay? Now, finding these stocks like an AVGR, just let me show you what happened with this stock. Let me get my little crayons on here so, you, so everybody can follow along. There we go, my little pointer. So AVGR, right at nine o'clock in the morning, this is Eastern time, within 30 minutes before anyone even knew about the company, we actually start trading at 9 a.m. Now I know we're broadcasting live on YouTube and everybody here, once again, if you watch me on, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, um, you know, and even our trading room, we actually start trading at 8 a.m. in the morning. Look at the stock move from five to six dollars just within the first 15 minutes. Then when the market opened up, it was up to already up to 650, and this thing shot all the way to 850 by 1010. As the day went on, it went as high as 13. Okay. As the day went on, it went to 15 all the way up until the close of the market and you could have traded after hours now avgr you're probably wondering why did it go up so much where did you find it why you know why is nobody talking about it because a couple of reasons first of all they're not day traders they don't know where to look and the most important part what you're going to see what i'm about to teach you in the next couple of slides how, why did it keep going up? Who ran it up? And how could you have shadowed those traders that ran that stock up? Because if you looked at uh, Intel, Microsoft, Tesla, NVIDIA, you can go down that list. There was no stock that would have gave you less risk with more reward than AVGR. Okay, so let's start with, the, uh, with a couple of other stocks that we found, all right? So let me show you where we actually find them. There's no big secret, okay? I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not here to, you know, sell anybody my newsletter, you know, and everything else, which by the way is illegal unless you're registered. Um, finding them is just going through the big percentage gainers and losers. That's it. That's all it is. Now, what we do and what I'm gonna, gonna invite all of you to see in my trading room is we're gonna show you how we go through this list and find the ones that it will give you the least amount of risk 
with the high mountain reward, because a lot of you are looking at this list and be like, you know, there's a lot of stocks that are moving today. Of course there are. There are 20,000 stocks that trade the market. But how do you find the top 10? And how do you know which one out there is going to, you know, that it's easy to get in and out of it? That's what you're going to learn in the next week. Okay. But I'm just telling you point blank, you can go out there and, and pay subscriptions. You can watch TV. You can watch news. You could sit there and go and watch all the damn YouTube videos you want. But unless you're going to have a company like us that's going to show you how to dissect it and learn what's called the three T's, tradable trend and trap, it's going to be very difficult to find a stock like that. Now, next poll I want to do, okay? How do we, um, why and how and why do these stocks go up? Is it the news? Is it the company fundamentals? Is it the buying and selling? Or is it te te supports and resistance levels? So let's see how all of you guys answer this question. Peter, you got the answer correct. John, you got it wrong. Michael, you got it right. Steve, just got to put A, B, C, or D. You're right, Steve. Gene, you're right. Robert, you're right. Come on, traders. Ed, Ed, Ed Soul, I didn't hear from you. Eric, Frank, um, Frank, Gene, what, listen, let me tell you a little bit about how, and don't take this the wrong way. When I took a job as a trader, after blowing up two accounts, when I got started at 22 years old, I'm actually 52 right now. My mentor told me, if you do not give me an answer, there's the door. Because when you, we're going to lend you money to trade and you can't answer this question, you should not be trading. Okay. Now, you're not trading my money. You're trading your money. Answer the question. If you don't know it, just give me a question mark. You're better off getting it wrong here than putting up 10, 20, 50,000 in the market and not trading blind. Now, if you said the answer is C, congratulations, you are right. It's controlled by buying and selling. Now, everyone out there is like, but I thought a Fibonacci has something to do with it. Oh, I thought it was news. Oh, I thought it was Kramer on TV. Oh, I thought it was, uh, you know, um, a heat map. No, fellow traders, it's buying and selling. It's as black as white as you can get it when it comes to trading. Now, so how do we know where to find the buyers and sellers? That is the $64,000 question. Well, what we teach at Cyber Trade University, I'm about to show you right now, is how we follow the big money. Okay. It is so like common sense. It literally is to just know where the, the buyers and sellers are. You have to understand something. You are the ants on the floor. You're trying to get these crumbs. There are people moving 50, 100,000 shares, 300,000 shares. And I'm going to show you these orders. What makes you think you know more than them? Okay. Wouldn't it be nice to see who they are? That's what I'm going to show you. So, what we're going to cover right now is something called level three and level four. Now, I just came back from Toronto last week. I was at the money show and I saw an overwhelming interest of people that were asking the other presenters that were at in, in, you know, in these rooms, hey, what's level four? What's level three? Okay. Well, I could tell you this before we get started. I am actually one of the pioneers that helped build these level threes and level fours. So you're going to hear from the horse's mouth. All right. And there's no question I cannot answer. But all I can tell you right now is this. Forget about what you know in the past, because we're going to focus on the future. And the future is where are the orders? So you know where to get in and get out before everybody else does. So let's start off with level three. OK, level three is known as book viewer. Now, I don't know if anyone here at the end of this presentation, I'm going to actually play a video. While all of you are going to register, because I know you're all going to register, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually a speaker at the NASDAQ. You know, I, I do presentations at the NASDAQ. I'm sorry. And NASDAQ wants you to know how to trade the exchange. They, that's all they want. That's all they care about. Because brokerage firms and exchanges know that if you can be, you know, can, can be consistently be you know, good at what you do, you're going to trade forever. You, they don't want to see you go out of business. They don't want to see you blow up your account. So, you know, I do presentations there. Um, um, uh, I've been doing it there for several years now. And at the end, I'll show you the last video that was on just last month. Um, 
and you'll see it. But let me explain to you what we're going to look at. Now, please, please pay attention, turn your TV off, turn the video games, and watch what I'm about to show you right now because this is going to be extremely disturbing. Um, I, I don't keep saying that, but like it really is because you're going to see how the market really works. This window looks qu quite confusing. A lot of numbers, a lot of everything. But let's start very simple. There are buyers and there are sellers. Buy orders and sell orders. Column one, two, three. One, two, three. The first column is giving you, is telling you what price they want to buy it and what price they want to sell it. The second column tells you how many shares that want to be bought at that price and how many shares that want to be sold at that price. The third column tells you how many orders around the entire world make up those shares that want to buy at that price. Same thing with the orders on the ask, same thing on the sell side. Those are, yeah, these are orders out there that make up, you know, how many orders will make up that 3,000 at that price. Now, the way the exchanges work is this, okay? And it's very important. Uh, let me just clear this out. So whoever wants to buy the stock Peloton is up on top. Whoever wants to sell it for the least amount of money is right here on the first list. Depending on where you want to buy it, let's say you want to buy it for less money, you'll be down here at the bottom. Let's say you want to sell your shares for more money, you're down here at the bottom. So what you're looking at is what's called a chat room, a negotiated market that's controlled by the exchange where you could see all the buyers at every single price and all the sellers at every single price and how many orders out there on each price. So you basically have a seat on the exchange. Now, let me explain to you because I still, till this day, do not understand why nobody would want this data. You have a seat on the exchange, okay? I don't know if you know this, but when you watch, let's say, CNBC and you watch them on the, they're basically, they're televising on the New York Stock Exchange. If you, I could show you a picture in the past and the future, there's no one down there. I can almost guarantee you eventually you're going to be able to have weddings, bar mitzvahs down there in the next couple of years because it's going to be a museum. There's no reason for it. Everything is electronic. You have a seat on the exchange. You could see every buyer and seller. Back then when I started, I had to pay at 22 years old, $1,000 for this data, okay? Today, it doesn't cost 1,000. It doesn't cost 100. It costs $15 for this data. Now, think about this for a second. You have a seat on the exchange to see over 50% of the volume of stock that you're in. Why would you not want that data? I still don't understand why nobody want to pay for it, okay? And by the way, let me just make another little comment. Let me throw my other two cents out there. Um, if you're here to learn how to trade, I'm just warning you right now. I am warning you. There is no such thing of free lunches, okay? Data is not free. If a brokerage firm is giving you free stuff, believe me, there's a catch, okay? You don't work for free because you didn't make your money for free, all right? Um, even if you hit lotto, you still have to buy a ticket, right? So please keep in mind, you if you think it's something broke, you come to me, you tell me, hey, they're giving this for free. I could tell you 10 other ways how they're making money on you, okay? Yeah, Conrad, there could be dark pools, could be tons of stuff. But let's move on. Let me teach you how we're going to use this data because then you're going to realize how important it is. What we talk about is, what we're looking for is iceberg orders. These are big block orders. There's a lot of orders on the buy side. There's a lot of orders on the sell side. So we need to see what's on the bottom. We need to see where's the big, big order out there because you know what? You saw, you heard, some of you are familiar what happened to the, the movie, the Titanic, that big, beautiful ship. All those wonderful people died. Who thought that the Titanic was unsinkable? Well, you know what? That's what happens when you think you're unsinkable and you come up to an iceberg. So we need to find what's called those iceberg orders. So let's look at an example over here. We're looking at a chart, we're looking at um, um, CHPT, which is irrelevant. Stock start in pre-market, starts going down, goes down, 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 down. All of a sudden, for some reason at $5, it decided to go up. Why did it go up at five? Why did it go up at 550? Why did it drop down to four? Well, when you look over here on the left-hand side, you'll notice that 
there must have been buyers out there. And when you work your way down, you notice right around this $5 is a 55,000 share buyer out there. Now, I don't know about you fellow traders, but when you have 300 share buyers, 400 share buyers, 1,000 shares, and you're talking 55,000, 19 different orders, kind of makes sense because buyers equal support. And where all of you do things, where most traders do people do things backwards, is they're looking for supports in the past. But how is that past indicative of the future? Because if those same buyers are not in the past and not in the future, it doesn't exist. That's why most people read things backwards. And that's why you got to follow the orders. And that's what you get on the NASDAQ book viewer. Let's look at our resistance levels. Here you have a stock, 470, goes up to 530, hits 530, and comes back down to 480. Why at one o'clock did it hit a resistance levels and go back down? It's not the time. It's not the indicator. It's not the news. It's because right here on the sell side, you had a 52,000 share seller out there. That's the only reason why. Remember, what makes resistance levels? Sellers, which all of you said yourself. You know, Alan, Nigel, Dave, you all pick C, right? Now you get to see the order and that kind of makes sense because think about it. If you had the stock at 1230, you had a stock at $4.80. What is your goal? Take a profit. 480 minus 530 is 50 cents. 50 cents on a thousand shares in a matter of 30 minutes is $500. You do that every day. That is a hundred thousand dollar salary. Who doesn't want that job? And you know what? If you didn't know he was out there, you just made a winner and you just convert into a loser. How many times has that happened to all of you? And the reason why is because did you see the orders, those iceberg orders in the future? Let's go over a few trades that we did this week. Okay. Let's talk about Tesla. Let's talk about a brand name stock, right? So Tesla is tra trending down. So my question to all of you is this. You're ever in a position and you're losing money and you're like, damn it, like, do I sell it now? Like, what, what, what's the game plan, all right? So let me ask everyone this. If you own the stock, right, Tesla, what, what are we looking for? What, what is going to make this stock go up? So I'm going to ask all of you a question. Mike, I didn't hear from you. What, what, Mike, what do you think? Elaine, what do you think? We need buyers, right? Right, right? Michael, okay, thank you very much. Not sellers, you need buyers. For the stock to go up, Michael, you need buyers. <laughs> you need purchases. Okay, Dave, Frank, I never heard that before. David, you're right. Shirley, you're right. Okay, we need buyers. Now, everyone loves the chart, okay? Do you see buyers on a chart? Do you, see, do you see buyers on this chart anywhere? No. So what the hell is a chart good for? You know, when I first started, we never had charts. Actually, they didn't even exist back then, okay? We had to work just strictly off the data. We had to use our mind and a, a, a pen and paper to write down and make our own little charts. Actually, all we used to do is write down the number. So there's no buyers out here. So what do we have to do? We're going to go check out the exchange. Now, what, now for me to look for buyers, I got to be on the buy column. Okay? So here's the buy column. Now, what I'm looking for is a lot of shares. Okay? And I'm looking down here for shares. And I notice, like, when we get down here... Between these shares and orders, I see that I found 262,000 shares looking to be bought 20,000 shares. And that's a lot of money for a, a, a $270 stock. By the way, anybody here buying 20,000 shares of Tesla? Anybody here doing it? Just out of curiosity, I'm asking. Nobody, nobody here is buying 20,000? Okay. I wish Eric is saying. Okay. But wouldn't it be nice to know if we knew there was a Big buyer out there looking to buy that amount of shares. Well, guess what? That data is available for you. So now let me just clear this out. Let me change the slide here. That's the big buyer. And that's what we got to be focused on. Okay. Now let's bring in the chart. What happened with right around 1210 when it came up to that big buyer? Hit that big buyer at 270. Went right up within a matter of an hour. Nice little $3 move. What's wrong with that? How did it know to go from point A to point B? Very simple. Buyers, sellers. Now, 
My question to all of you is this. Did I lose anybody yet? Um, Henry has a good question. He goes, what if they cancel an order? Henry, let me ask you a dumb question. Are you allowed to cancel an order? Could you cancel an order, Henry, to do a trade? If you put a trade out there, could you change your mind and cancel it? Uh, I, of course you could. Okay. But just remember one thing, Henry. Um, right here. There are 262 people out there that are in cahoots with each other. You think they're all in cahoots with each other? Okay. All right. So at the end of the day, yeah, someone could cancel it, but there's 262 people out there that are doing it. All right. Now, let's move on. Let's look at some, let's look at another example. Why is IONQ going up? It's very simple. All right. Got to be buying going on. Now, you are, you're looking at a stock that's going higher, right? What is your game plan, fellow traders? Let's, let me see how everyone answers this question. How, well, what is your game plan? Stock's going up. Wait, wrong answer. Wrong answer. Wait for what, Sherry? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, you know what? I give you a lot of respect because at least you were the first one to say something and you were out there because, you know, if you without your answer, if someone doesn't tell you what you did right and wrong is what we focus on, that's where it is. Certain percentage is dependent on my investment. Roll, that's a bad answer. I don't know what the hell that means. Depending on your, what you got, what, 2%, 10%? I, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. That is the wrong, I don't know who trained you, but that's not the way you're supposed to trade. You own a stock, okay? It's going up. What do you look for? Mike, you're right. Bill, you're right. You got to look where the sellers are. You got to know where the sellers are. You, you Listen, your goal is to take a profit. Isn't that everyone's goal? Take profits, right? You need to, and to take a profit successfully, you need to know where the sellers are. Because if they're taking a profit, you, you're the ant on the floor. Remember, you're following the crumbs. Without those big grown-ups dropping the food on the floor, you're not going to eat. Okay? Stop trying to help your own food. Very simple. Follow the big boys. So let's go out there and see what's going on here. Back on NASDAQ. Can anyone here tell me where do you see the big orders? Where are people looking to get out of the stock? Okay. Michael, you're right. Eric, you're right. Raul, do you see where you're at right now? If you put your 10%, 15% into this, okay, and this number is maybe 7%, you got a little problem because the right answer is right there, is 1845. So I don't know what percent you're looking at, but that's really the correct number. And by knowing that resistance level is there, you slip in the chart, you're looking at the thing going higher. But at the end of the day, if you didn't have a game plan and got out where they got out, now you can convert a winner into a loser. You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> you need, need new glasses. Um, well, maybe you just need someone to teach you how to do it the right way. You know, listen, I've been doing this 30 years. And there's nothing that bothers me anything more is seeing people lose money. I really, really do. I, it's just like I would say I spent most of my time and my instructors here at Cyber Trade University spend more time not teaching people how to make money, but teaching people how to stop losing it. Like examples like this. That's, you know, because there's no reason for it. You know, listen, I'm a good trader, but I'm a I'm a better teacher. And think about how many of you are here not knowing that this data even existed. Now, where can I get now? Some of you are asking me this, and I'm going to put the question here. How can I get book viewer? Like, how can I find, how can I get the NASDAQ? Now, remember, this is not my data. I don't sell it. I don't own it. I don't make any money on it. I'm doing it from the, from the, 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 the sincerity of my heart. If you really want to know how to have a seat on the NASDAQ market, there's my email. Write back to me. 
because if you write back to me, I'll give you the answer. Okay. So I know exactly who's serious and who's not serious. Listen, we got over a hundred people in here. I don't know who you are, where you came from. I'm not just going to give you out, you know, I'll end up doing more damage to you than good. All right. So I'll put my email in here. Um, F-A-U-S-T-O. It's my first name. P, last initial, at ctucorp.com. All right. So everybody has that. Let's move on. So you can so write that down. You can always email me now. You can email me later. Okay. Now, there's level four, Fausto. Yeah. Yeah. There's even something a little bit higher than that. Okay. Now, level four has more of a heat map. So I know everybody likes charts. Why don't I throw this into a chart? Because there is a program out there that does it. Now, what you're going to see right here is we're going to look at examples of how a heat map actually works. And right now we're looking at Tesla, okay? And if you look here on the left-hand side, you'll see that you're seeing some data coming across and you'll notice that you have these little red lines. Those red lines are big block orders. That red line is a buyer that wants to buy 98,000 shares of Tesla. And if you're watching as the stock is trading, what is the stock doing, everyone? It's going up. Why would Tesla go up from a price right here of you know 270 to 270, 271.50 to 272? And watch how it goes up. Once those buyers showed up, the stock goes higher. So over here on the right hand side, we see what COB that stands for current order book. You're seeing something more of the NASDAQ book viewer. But imagine now you could see how long he's been out there and if he's up and if he's updating his quote. Now let's look at the opposite. IOVI. Doesn't matter the symbol, but look right here. We got a 51,000 share seller out there. Look what happens when the stock goes up to that resistance levels of 596. It hits it, it hits it, it hits it. And what ends up happening? Stock starting to go down. See that? Why is that stock driving down? Because of the resistance levels of that seller out there. The goal is when you trade in today's markets, when you want to have a game plan and you want to know what makes these stocks go up and go down, and if you want to know if the person's getting executed, if you want to know if it's a, if it's a fake order or anything else, well, this is the examples of what you're going to see. You need to know who's out there, how long he's been out there, and if he's getting executed. And like one of you mentioned, is he canceling it? That's what trading is all about. Let's bring up another stock like AVGR, because I know that, that movement might throw you off. But you know what? When I show it as a little simple screenshot, this might make work. AVGR, here's a stock that went from $10 up to $12 and then came back to $10. Why did it do that? Very simple. At nine o'clock this morning, the stock was trading at ten ten dollars. It goes up, 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 and then all of a sudden, you'll notice this big red line up there. When you get close to the twelve dollars, you had a hundred thousand share seller out there. Okay, how many of you here are putting hundred thousand share orders? I can almost guarantee no one here is buying twelve dollars stock for hundred thousand. Okay, but I know you wish you would be able to see it. You could, and by knowing he was out there. And as the stock gets closer and closer, you got two things. If you own that stock at 1140, your game plan is to get out of 12. And guess what? It goes to 12. And what happens after 12? Boom, it comes right back down to 1080. So going in there, having a game plan, seeing that order out there, getting out before we hit that big seller out there. And if you didn't, you just convert a winner back into a loser. Now, a question to everyone here. Anyone ever had that problem? You ever buy a stock and it's like, as soon as you buy it, the thing goes down. And as soon as you sell it, it goes up. And you're like, you're wondering, you know, is like somebody even watching you and everything? And Steve's like, oh yeah, it happens all. Sadly, yes, Frank. Okay, surely, yes. Okay, well, let me, let me just tell you the fact. If you feel that way, you know, you shouldn't. The problem is nobody's watching you. You're just not watching them. If you saw that order, you would have never bought the stock at 12. 
And if you saw that order and you owned it, you probably you should have sold it before 12. But you're looking at the past. If I implemented an indicator, by the time that indicator crossed and did all that fancy stuff that it does that they taught you, the stock's already probably down to 11. Look, let's talk about another stock, AMC. Okay. AMC had a really good move, went from like the 740 all the way up to 830. Okay. Now, it's on a steady downtrend now. Now, when you look over here, as look at an AMC, all of a sudden, the stock comes to a big buyer. He just shows up at 1130 for 108,000 shares, 109, whatever it is. What do you think is going to happen when you have a big buyer out there? What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Because the stock was trending down. It's going to spike, Shirley. Listen, if you haven't learned anything yet, focus and watch carefully. How do stocks go up and go down? Buyers and sellers. A buyer just decided he wants to buy 100,000 shares of, of, of AMC. Look what ended up happening. Comes down to him, hits him, never broke it. Would end up happening, tested it, tested it, consolidated, boom, went from 740, now it's at 770, you know, an hour later. Now, I don't know about you, but regardless of how much money, whatever it is, when he showed up, when he showed up, it never went lower. It didn't go back to the $7. It didn't go to 725. It didn't go down to one of you mentioned, oh, my count at 5% or 10%. That's where I know. No, forget about it. Throw that crap out the door. This is the person you got to watch. This is the street. These, this is Wall Street, not Main Street. And that's what trading is all about. And if you didn't know that, guess what? You could have you, you could have covered your short or you could be making money on the long. And not only that, but it went even higher than that. It shot up all the way to 830. And he's still out there advertising his order. I'm going to repeat this several times until it sinks in. How much smarter and better trading decisions would you have made in a stock that you're in if you could see those 100,000 share buyers and sellers? Okay. Because how many shares are you really trading, ladies and gentlemen? couple of hundred, maybe a thousand, unless you're trading penny stocks. How many shares would you buy of this stock right here? Okay. I know it's not going to be a hundred. I know you're not putting a, a million dollars into an idea. Okay. But somebody is. So you got to go out there and do it. Now, let's go check out the live market. I want to have some fun here. Okay. So, Let's put it to the test, house though, right? Let, 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 I mean, listen, anyone can make some pretty powerful PowerPoints. Let's go to the exchange. Let's go have some fun. Um, anyone here have any stocks? Let's look at some stocks out here. Give me a stock, anything, anything anyone's looking at. And what I'm going to do is um, I want to test some of you. I want to test your knowledge. Uh, AL, American Airlines. Okay, that stock's been taking a huge hit. Marvel, Neo. Okay. Uh, I need to find, I'm going to find something that we'll look, we'll look at American airlines, look at American airlines, uh, AAL. Okay. Let me look at what's going on. American airlines. So let's look at this example right here. Okay. So let's look at the chart. This one is probably a good example. Okay. Can anybody tell me where we support on a uh, American airlines? Where was the, where's support on American Airlines? Around 1250, 1380. Okay, I'm going to draw, so draw some trend lines here. So some of you said, what, 1250 you said? No, it can't be 1250. It's not even there. You, you got a different number. Uh, like 1280 you said? Okay, right there. All right, anybody else? Some of you are saying right here. Okay, right here at 1290. Okay, great. All right. Now, okay, I, I, I reasonable enough. Okay, now the next question I have to ask you is where was where's resistance? What's where's resistance on American Airlines? 
Where's resistance? Okay, Carlos, Ra Ra Raul, all the okay, you guys are the same right around here. Okay. So at 945, the stock goes from this 1290-ish, goes all the way up, hits 1223, comes back down, all right, at this uh 1370. Some of these bounced right there, and then finally went back up. And now it's hovering at this resistance. Now, here's my here's the question that hopefully I want to see. For the little, little 30 minutes of education that I gave you, let's see if you all can answer this question properly. Why did the stock bounce at 1290? And why is it having a tough time getting past 1225? How about this? Um, anybody have used an RSI? How about a Bollinger Band, a MACD? Um, I don't know what else we got up here that looks pretty sexy. Another popular one, a pivot point. I don't know. I heard about those are pretty cool. Uh, moving average. I don't know. Let's, let's see if you can figure this out. Maybe, maybe this might help. Can anybody tell me for all these indicators that you're out there? Cause I know a lot of you do use them. Does that help answer the reason why 200 moving average? Okay. You do tell me, you know what I see a damn mess. Absolutely, I, I don't even know how people read this crap. I'd be honest with you, okay? Seriously. But it looks pretty. Look, makes you look smart. I mean, I love putting it up there. It looks great when I use charts. How about this? Let's look at level four. Where did we say le was support levels and risk resistance levels were? So you all set it right here. Here is that big resistance. See that little line? There was that resistance because this big seller showed up and you could see he added to it. And right here where you saw support levels, right here, look at all these buyers out here, 56,000, 70,000, 50,000. So when that stock came here, look at this big seller right here, okay? The reason why it didn't go past this 1290 is because this buyer showed up. The reason why I didn't want to go past the 1350 is because of these sellers showed up. So let me ask everybody a dumb question and why I expect every single one of you to watch and join my trading room when I'm done right now. What's easier to read? The buyers and sellers or the indicators? Michael, I look forward to seeing you in the room. Steve, Eric. I look forward to seeing you in the room. This is why I love teaching people because right now teaching, what makes teaching so exciting is that when you teach someone like a light bulb kicks in, they're like, holy crap. It's like, exactly, Carlos, it's like a no brainer, right? Now, let's be honest because nobody can read anybody's chat. How many of you here are using this data right now? How many of you here are using level three and level four in trading in the stocks that you're in, no matter if it's swing trading, option trading or anything? Shelly said, because I have no access to it. Not me, Frank. Ari says, no. Pete says, no. Think about smarter and better trading decisions you would make if you were able to see this. Now, listen, we're running out of time. Sorry I was going over, but let me, let me get right to the point now, because I'm glad that everyone here is following along. So I, I expect every one of you to join and come and watch me live for one whole week, one week online in my professional trading room, the original one. So listen, here you have an example of people cheering in the background. Look at their screens. They're looking at orders. Look at me. This That's me at the, at the Schwab booth. Charles Schwab even wants you to learn it. They hired, they hired me as a speaker to kind of teach you this because Thinkorswim has, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. NASDAQ, Metastock, Tastyworks, TradeStation. You'll, I could almost guarantee you that no one here, no matter who trained you, has the reputation of being endorsed by more brokerage firms or exchanges than anyone in the industry, okay? And not only that, I could almost guarantee you another thing. You probably will never find anybody that has a Google rating as high as ours, okay? And the only reason why I probably have a 4.9, not versus a 5, is I had a jealous competitor that wrote a bad review on us. You know, it happens. But um, that is the reputation you get with Cyber Trading University, okay?
You want to learn how to trade properly. You want to learn how to play the game. You want to learn how to stop losing money. This is what you have to do. Now, how can we learn more? Basically, what I'm asking everybody to do is I want you to come and join my trading room. And in this trading room, all it's going to cost you is $9. That's it. Just take your phone. Everybody got their phone? Where's my phone? Everybody have the phone right here? Take your phone, turn on the camera, and scan that QR code. Let me see if it works for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, it works for me. And it should bring you to a registration page. Or you could just click that link that we post in the chat room, okay? Now, let me explain to you what you're going to get, okay? You're going to get live audio commentary, all right? You're going to get full access to the trading room with all the hundreds of traders that we train that are in there, and they're from all over the world. You're going to get weekly uh, Q&A uh, workshops are going to come. This is all live, okay? This is all for, you know, you're getting in this package. You're going to get hundreds of hours of recordings of workshops and classes that we offer. And as a bonus, I'm going to give you my book, okay? It's, you know, um, it was published by Wiley. You're going to get the opportunity. You can go to Amazon. You can pay $47 or you can get it for free. And you're going to see live audio commentary from all our instructors, our education advisors. We're on there all day. And, you know, even right now we're there. You can register right now. You can listen, trade the clothes, wherever it is, all included from 9 a.m. to 4 o'clock. Now. You're going to get, like I told you, full access to the trading room. You're going to meet all these great traders. You're going to, you're going to see how we make full outs. You're going to see how we work together like a team. We're like one big happy family. And what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to recruit more traders just like you to come in there. Yes. And it is money back guaranteed. Absolutely. Listen, after the week, you feel I wasted your time. I'll give you $9 back. Listen, I don't need your $9. I need traders that can help and work together like a team, we could trade together. That's what I'm looking for. The $9 is really an application fee to be part of the team, okay? But hundreds of hours of workshops, you're gonna be getting the book, How to Beat Market Makers in Own Game. You're gonna get all this stuff. And you know what? He, oh, basically, oh, this is basically a, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday, a whole um, agenda of what you're gonna be learning in the classes for the week. This is all for nine bucks. It's like for nothing. It's a steal. Okay. Now, I want to take some questions. And the questions that I got that were coming across is very popular questions. And first thing is people ask me, how much money do I need to start? You know how much money you need to start? Nine dollars. That's it. I think what I did today, as I told you, more than what nine dollars is worth. Okay. So we don't want you, you don't need a brokerage account. You don't need anything else. All you need is $9 and that's all you need to get started. Um, do you need a brokerage account to get started for this program? No, we do not want you to trade. We just want you to watch. Listen, a lot of people out there think like, you know, can I trade with you? Listen, you can't take a job without doing an interview first. You know what I'm saying? You might, might not be for you. How many of you guys went to college? You know, you think you went to the first college that you want? How many of you out there thought that when you were in, in, in elementary school, like, oh, I want to go to the school. I want to go to the school. Next thing you find out, you know what? It really wasn't school for me. You did something else. And the only reason why you know that is because, you know, you did your homework. Don't worry about trading. Don't worry about a brokerage account. Don't worry about getting level two, level three. You don't need it for the class. All you need is $9, get into the room and watch and meet people like you that are trading and see if they make money, how to do it. Now, does your room also cover options? I know people are asking me. Yes, we do. We do options trading. We do swing trading. You know, you could use this towards that type of data. All you have to do is take your phone and scan it and get into the room. Uh, another question people ask me is, is this going to be a scam that I'm going to be charged like $200 after the week? <laughs> That's a great question. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I love hearing those. We don't do that. There's no, we, we're not going to scam you into like, oh, we're going to lock you into a two, $300 subscription. Those people are desperate. I don't need your two, 300 bucks. I'm looking for traders I can make six figures with. But if you can't afford nine, then you can't afford to be part of the team. I'm, I don't need you. You know, listen, there's not going to be any charges after that. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. This is it. 
And after nine days, I'll be happy to give you $9 back. All right. It actually costs me more money for me to you to talk to my staff than the money I make that I charge you. But I'm willing to make that investment. And you know what? I'm going to throw a big bonus in there. How about this? I'm going to throw a big bonus in there. You register right now. I'll give you everybody, the first 20 people that register, I'll even speak to you on the phone. Okay. How many of you here watch these gurus on YouTube? Have you, don't you wish you could talk to them, call them out and ask them some questions? You know what? They're not going to answer your phone. They don't interest in you. You know what they're interested in? They're interested in charging you tens of thousands of dollars in training and, you know, and, and help them build up their YouTube channel or their Instagram or their, you know, their TikTok. Listen, I'm a Wall Street trader. I was a market maker. I live here in New York. I'm surrounded by the best traders. I work for some of the most prestigious day trading firms in the industry. Okay. Nothing has changed 30 years ago other than you don't got to be licensed. Um, ticket charges are free. Technology got a hell of a lot cheaper. I used to pay $1,000 for a month for that in level two, that level three. Now you get it for $15. But let me show you for nine and we'll go from there. A couple of questions. Um, how much money do we need to get started, Frank? Frank, I, like I told you, forget about the thousand, the 10,000, the 100,000. Okay. Let's start off with $9 first. All right. Let's just start off with that, Frank. Okay. Uh, when could you start, Conrad? Listen, the way things work is this. Have you registered yet, Conrad? Because the way it works is this. Um, when you apply, there we're going to do a QA and a and we're going to ask you five questions. We want to get to know a little bit about you, just like you go into a doctor's office. And then there's going to be another page that you're going to book an appointment with an education advisor. He's going to take the time to walk you through the registration process. He's going to take the time to kind of walk you through um, you know, what's going on in the market and you know, what we're looking at, you know, more or less to make you feel comfortable. And then, you know, and then you'll, um, and when you want to start. So if you want to start tomorrow, you start tomorrow. I mean, it's fresh in your mind. You want to start on Monday, start on Monday. Um, one person says, I'm going away. Can I book, can I, can I use it two weeks from now? Absolutely. Lock yourself in for the $9 now. We'll go from there. All right. Now, let me just look at a couple of things right here. I want to do a couple of shout outs. Uh, first of all, um, Francesco E from Texas, I got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Conrad, oh, that's you. You're from uh, Florida. Kiss me. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Ed Sutton, got your registration from New York. Woodside, oh, you're right the block from me. I'm right here in Manhasset. So uh, good to see you. Lucy, got your registration from Chicago. Uh, Bill from California. I see people still registering right now. Listen, fellow traders, it's $9. What are you afraid of? Think about this. How much better of a trader I made you today to make you realize that you've been trading blind. Now you have the opportunity to come into the trading room and see this and say, you know what? Let me see if Faust was for real. Let me see. This really makes sense. What I got to lose. Okay. You got nothing to lose, but wasting our time. All right. So, but I, I'm not worried about wasting my time because some of my best traders, this is how we kind of find them. But I'm looking for serious traders and serious traders only. So if you're trading stocks, you're trading options, you're doing swing trading, you're trading a market that's not working out for you. Listen, if you're not making the, the high five, six figures, it's time to do a change. I mean, it comes down to that. All right. Uh, a couple of people also, James Hec um, Hedrick, got your registration, uh, Ventura, California. I was actually there. Um, I used to actually teach a class down there in California. Uh, in your area. Really nice. Right, right by the beach. Big financial area too. So nice. Uh, love that area. Who else I got here? Um, Banu from uh, Austin, Texas. Hope I didn't mangle your name. I'm sorry if I did. But it's got your registration. Just came in. Thank you very much. Guys, don't forget, when you get to the third page, you're going to book your appointment with your education advisor. We take a lot of time. You're going to see we're very big when it comes to customer service. So you're going to get a walkthrough. We're going to show you. Make sure you watch videos to watch, very fast videos. You'll get into the trading room. You're going to know exactly what to look at. And then, uh, and you listen, you all got to be there all day. Okay. I know there are people all over from different parts of the world. You can be there the first hour, the last hour. I don't know if anybody ever got my mouse pad, but like, listen, there's always certain hours where people trade. All my students do get this. All right. A couple of the shout outs right here. Um, Joe, Joe R. from Arizona, got your registration. We're almost, we're almost at that 20. Oh, my God. 
Come on, there's almost 100 of you. You guys better hurry and register pretty quick. I can, Listen, I can't talk to everybody. You know, it's a lot of work, but, you know, I'd rather, listen, if you if you can't talk to me personally, you'll still be able to talk to one of my instructors. I can promise you that. Roy, Roy C. from uh, North Carolina got registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Hank H., uh, where are you from? Florida? Okay, yeah, got your registration. There you go. From Florida, got your registration. What is that? Um, Amrad Beach. Okay. Where's that? Is that East Coast or West Coast? Love going to Florida. I'll, I'll be joining you soon, by the way. <laughs> All right. Are these uh, indices available for book order? Um, book order three or four? Well, David, when you when when you register, I didn't know if I saw you register yet, David. But when you register, we have these little, um, very detailed. Fast little videos. We're not going to bombard you with these 800 hours of videos, but that's going to show you exactly how those orders work and how to get them. I told you that if you did register, you could always send me an email and get, and I'll tell you where to where to get them. Um, but I rather you pay the nine dollars versus the fifteen. Let me show you how it works first, and then you'll understand a little bit more how to use them because you're. Pr there's certain defaults you got to set because sometimes they put like seven different columns and you really only three. Uh, there's certain filters I put in there. So, you know, um, I really want you guys to kind of know how to use that first before you make that investment. Um, Pervin Singh from, uh, I don't even know where you're from. Sorry for what country code that is. Is that China? Gu Guangxin somewhere? Sorry about that. But great. I listen, we have a lot of people from out of the country, not around the world that register. You're going to meet a lot of people, Singapore, Australia, Germany, London, all over the place. It's great. Uh, South Africa. OK, there you go. Good. We actually had somebody fly in here like three, four years ago from South Africa that came to our on site. So, uh, yeah, I love the South African people. They're great. OK, the, the English actually, were, you know. Kind of helps. By the way, another thing I have to apologize. I am from New York. I do talk a little fast. I will slow down when I teach my classes. We're just running out of time. I have to go. And, you know, I want to make sure that I get every single one of you in there registered. Okay. Just got somebody else that just came in right now. Ro uh, Rosemary M. from uh, Gainesville, Florida. Just got your registration. Welcome aboard. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, there's the link. That's everything you're going to get. You could click on the link or you could scan it on your phone. All right. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play a video. Oops. Let me just pause this. I'm going to play a video really quick because I got to get ready for my trading room. Watch the video. This is a video of me on NASDAQ talking about NASDAQ book viewer. So as you're watching the video, sit and enjoy it. It's about a little less than about five, six minutes. And for the ones that haven't registered, hopefully this will help convert you too. But in the meantime, I look forward to seeing every one of you in my trading room. If it's not when we're done now, maybe tomorrow, Monday, just make sure you book your appointment. Make sure you watch those videos so you know exactly what we're doing in the live markets. Try to be there in the morning when the most when it's the most volatile time and try to be there at, in the afternoon when it's closed. Listen, you don't got to be there all day, but definitely be there in the most volatile times. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. And I look forward to seeing you all in the trading room. Have a great day, everybody. Site studio in Times Square, New York City. We have Fausto Puglisi, president of Cyber Trading University, to discuss using NASDAQ book viewer to trade market trends. And it's so interesting, Fausto, we're almost sector agnostic. It applies for all different types of companies. All different ones, Jill. And, and being earnings week, there's been just so much been going on with the market. 